Yeah, for sure. Such a, such an important connection there. And let's start by talking about the liver. What is the main functions of the liver? How is it connected to chronic inflammation? So the liver is your master organ, right? It detoxifies your body, your blood, and it produces bile, uh, which helps with digestion, as well as removing the toxins from the blood, right? Mm -hmm. Your liver is important for hormone regulation, vitamin storage, blood sugar regulation, immune cell activation, a whole number of things. Now, unfortunately, most people's liver uh, livers are inundated with toxins, pesticides, as well as inflammation. So it's a two-way street. A lot of people have inflammation from what we call leaky gut, right? Your damaged intestine based on because of pesticides, antibiotic use, poor diet, eating inflammatory foods such as gluten, dairy, etc. Uh, this triggers inflammation in the body. The inflammation then goes and creates chronic disease, yeah, asthma, eczema, arthritis, etc. The inflammation also goes to your liver. Your liver becomes inflamed, right? That's number one. Number two, the inflammation creates toxins. So your liver has to deal with all these toxins. It's autotoxicity from self-inflammation. Mm. And number three, your liver is also dealing with toxins from the environment, pesticides, alcohol, drugs, et cetera. So over time, you, most people's liver becomes stagnant. And in Chinese medicine, we call it liver qi stagnation. Qi means energy. Mm -hmm. And when this happens, your liver starts to malfunction. It produces less bile, number one. So we'll go directly to inflammation here. When your liver produces less bile, right? You have poor digestion, number one. You have more gas, bloating, constipation, right? Because bile is important for the lubrication of the stool, right? So constipation is not dependent on using laxatives to resolve it. Constipation is 90% often a, a liver issue, a bile flow issue. The bile acid also kill off the bad bacteria. And, and removes mycotoxins from your body. The bad bacteria and mycotoxins are often a trigger for inflammation as well, right? So most people are busy healing their gut with probiotics and vitamin D and changing their diet, but they're forgetting about the liver connection. And when you ignore your liver, first of all, it's harder to heal your microbiome. It's harder to have a healthy microbiome because there's not enough bile salts, not, not enough bile to create a healthy environment for your good bacteria to flourish right? Number two, when your liver is stagnant, remember that toxins are building up in your blood and in your lymphatic system all over. And toxins trigger inflammation throughout your body, right? So the inflammation is not only coming from your gut, but it's coming from the toxins that are swimming around in your body because your liver is not removing them. So you get into systemic inflammation, right? And that's a cascading effect where your liver becomes more inflamed. There's more toxicity buildup, more degeneration, more chronic disease, more cancer, more free radical damage, right? And so that's the connection of the liver to chronic inflammation and why it's important as you're healing your gut, always to heal your liver as well. 